God's will versus free will. I will with a couple people yesterday um, in my group or whatever. And we were just talking about how even people of the church, um, they really believe in God, God's will, like free will trumping God's will. Right. So I'm driving this morning and I kind of got like an epiphany. God gave me a scripture um, and I got a, an epiphany behind it. It's the scripture um, that says every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. And I'm like, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. That don't sound like free will to me. That sound like the equivalent of the hood phrase, get down or lay down. That means you ain't got no choice. So the problem becomes with us, with most of us, either your journey to the promised land is going to be the 11 days that it takes to get there. Or it's going to be the 40 days of you wandering around because you're being disobedient and not believing God. At what so choose ye this day. <laughs> which Israelite you are going to be. Are you going to be the disobedient Israelites? The one who, do, who don't believe God, who's murmuring and wandering and complaining um, to get to the promised land. You're going to take that 40 days that should have been 11 days. Is your six month journey going to be a five year journey because you're not listening? Or is it going to be the the three months that it could have took originally or is it going to take another three years for you or, or are you going to miss your opportunity completely and hopefully not get go on the glory <laughs> before you become obedient to what thus saith the lord choosing this